guys. So these couple of lessons we'll be looking at forms of energy and looking at uh, different forms of energy and how we can convert between, the, between them. So why do we need energy? Previously, uh, primitive humans needed energy to keep their body working, to get food, to build shelter, to make tools and weapons, and to keep warm and move. But now the, change, the, the use of energy has changed. And modern humans need energy to travel more and move goods, to build things such as roads and cities, for entertainment like watching TV, uh, health facilities like hospitals, food processing to make food uh, like snacks, and for commerce and industry. So the forms of energy, um, firstly energy is the capacity to do work. So we can have different types of energy like kinetic energy, which is the energy of movement. Potential energy, which is stored energy in chemicals. And electromagnetic energy, which is radiant energy, such as solar energy. There's also other types of energy listed here, like sound and light. So energy can be converted from one form to another, so from heat to mechanical or kinetic, or from chemical potential to heat. Each time it's converted, a little bit of energy is lost. And energy loss is usually in the form of heat. Energy, however, can never be destroyed. So whenever we lose energy uh, in a system, from a system, uh, it's lost as heat or light or something like that. And when we add them all together, we will always have the same amount as what we had in the beginning. So an example is just say we have coal, which contains potential energy. Coal is burnt, so it's a combustion reaction to produce heat energy. Heat energy is then used to boil water to form steam. Steam can then use, be used to turn the turbines in, a fact, uh, in factories or power plants. And this kinetic energy of the turbines is converted into electrical energy using an electromagnet. So in summary, it's the chemical potential energy in the coal, which is firstly converted into heat energy when we combust it, is then changed into kinetic energy when we're turning the turbines, and then finally forming electrical energy. So just to summarize, energy is, uh, can never be destroyed. We always can convert it though. So we can convert it in this case as chemical potential energy into heat, heat into kinetic, kinetic into electrical energy. And therefore we can use this energy, we usually use electrical energy for all sorts of use purposes like entertainment and for uh, food processing. So for a few questions, question one, what is the correct definition of energy? Uh, the ability to change from heat to electrical energy. Uh, this answer is incorrect. Uh, this answer tells us it converts from one energy form to another. Uh, the amount of energy stored in a substance. This is chemical potential energy and it's not the definition of energy. The release of heat in a given, uh, in a given chemical reaction. This one is actually a definition for enthalpy change, so it's not the correct answer. And is it A, the capacity to do work? Yes, this one's correct. Uh, we said in the beginning of the lesson that energy is the capacity to do work. Which of the following is correct? Incorrect. Uh, energy has many different forms. Uh, yes, that's true. We have kinetic energy, we have chemical potential energy. Uh, energy is usually lost in the form of heat. Yes, this is true. A lot of heat losses uh, contribute to inefficiency. Energy can be converted from one form to another. Yes, it's true. We convert from electrical energy to heat energy or vice versa. Energy can be destroyed. This one is incorrect uh, because energy can never be destroyed. Energy is always just converted into another form. Question three, name three forms of energy. Firstly, we can have heat energy, chemical energy, and then we can also have kinetic energy. Question four, what are three uses of energy for modern humans? So we like to construct things. We like to build buildings and build cities to live in. We also like entertainment. We like to watch TV and we like to play games and go on the computer. And finally, to travel longer distances. A lot of us travel to go to school, to go to work, to go overseas for holidays. 
So energy is needed for this. Question five, briefly describe how chemical potential energy in coal uh, is converted into electrical energy. So firstly, chemical potential energy in coal allows it to be a fuel. So remember, fuel releases a lot of energy for us. Uh, it is combusted to produce large amounts of heat energy uh, to form steam. Steam can be then used to turn turbines that the heat energy can be converted into mechanical or kinetic energy. Turning of the turbines moves the electromagnet in the power plant so that the kinetic energy can then be converted into electrical energy. So in summary, uh, energy is the capacity to do work. And energy is needed for a variety of reasons, such as transport and uh, entertainment. And then energy can never be destroyed and is always converted from one form to another. So in this case, we're looking at chemical potential energy going to heat energy, making it kinetic energy, and then converting finally into electrical energy, which, which is what we use. Thank you.